Hello everyone. So in this video, we're going to talk about the document uh, assignment uh, for the documents. So we're going to talk about the document calls, how you can assign that. Uh, so there are different types of licenses available in ClickView. Uh, most widely used are the document calls and the named cal. Uh, I have a, a video about uh, explaining all each these types. So uh, do go over the video if you want to uh, more information about what are the calls. So document calls are assigned by the document. So in order to do that, so you go into the QMC and go in documents here and then click on the documents, uh, user documents. So you will come, you will see this particular screen where essentially this is the same screen where we uh, set up a reload schedule. So we have a tab called document cal here. So if we click here, we can see that all the available document calls. So what we can do is we can, uh, allocate number of cal so each user coming in so each session will have a doc separate document cal so i can say okay you know six document cals are allocated here okay so that is one way to allocate the document cals but that uh, that will not be uh, <coughs> a user who is not a named cal will not be able to access this particular document so we can then we can have this option called allow dynamic cal licenses assignment so this option what it does is that whenever a new person comes in and he tries to access and if their document calls are available it is gonna assign that dynamically so you don't need to uh, worry about you know you know people coming in and they are not able to log in but if you want to make that happen you know manually assign that so you can click on this user and for example i have this user qv admin here and i can search that and I can add that here and you can say okay so this user now I have the document cal now this if you can see my status has changed so one document cal is assigned say so out of these uh, six available for this one now I have one assigned so the next now five are available for dynamic assignment and another way to assign a document cal is that you know rather than writing a name here uh, at times it appears that you know when you do not have the proper directory connected so you can write the directory as well as a username and then a semicolon and then the next username and you click OK and you will have these people assigned. So once you assign that, you will see the information that when they last used it and uh, if it's uh, available for quarantine. So quarantine is when you want to remove a certain user and want to allocate to someone else or just want to remove them. So there is a certain time. So uh, a uh, one day period uh, is a quarantine period that if person has used in last 24 hours, you will not be able to remove that license right away. You will have to wait uh, for 24 to 4 hours. So this shows that, you know, this person is in quarantine and when it will be removed so that you can have a, uh, you can plan better. You can tell an end user that when the next user will be available, available to use this particular cal. Okay, so this is how you assign document cal to the document. 